So I'd like to call this meeting to order. Um, we are is this meeting being recorded? Yes. This meeting is being recorded. It will be shown at a later date unless it's live right now. It is not live? Correct? No. Okay. Um, and the first order of business is the election of a chair for the committee. And so I am open to nominations. Um, I, I nominate Councillor Adams. Right. And I will, uh, before we close nominations, right, when do you when do you actually make the little statement? Whatever. Um, do you close them and then see so that's why you should be chair? Do you close nominations, Mary, and then people can make statements? We. I mean, I know I know that I think awesome. when we do like council president, council vice president, we do close them. Okay. So mm -hmm. and then before the vote. Mm -hmm. I'll entertain a motion to close nominations. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That was fine. Um, so I'm glad to turn over the reins of this committee to Councillor Adams. Um, and I think you'll do a great a great job. And just so you guys know, this, this committee has evolved. I think it's important to know where it's come from as Councillor Adams takes the chair. Because this is kind of the first, I think this is the first time where the whole term of the council will have the new structure of this committee. The committee used to be chaired, I've been on this committee since I joined the council. Um, the committee used to be chaired by the mayor. The head of planning was usually here, the head of development. Um, uh, Terry used to be here. Now there's another Terry, but that Terry doesn't usually show up. There's a, uh, the chair of the conservation commission comes, and it used to be the chair of planning came. So it was quite a a uh, large committee, it was also a committee because you had a number of chairs here, kind of had a lot of um, heavy hitters. So issues would come up, and this committee often initiated those. When we changed the structure, the mayor was no longer chair. We no longer have the chair of planning showing up or the economic development officer on a regular basis. We've kind of been looking at well, what is, we tended to at times not even know, because the mayor usually set the agenda. The mayor would be at the meeting and setting the agenda. So we're kind of at the end, this almost felt like a new committee. Like, where are we going? What are we doing? There are a couple of issues from last year that are definitely moving forward and on the table. One of the big ones is going to be the development of, of Round Hill, which is in our lab. There's an ad hoc committee you've probably seen that's been appointed that is under the jurisdiction of this committee. So right. that said, I'm glad that Councilor Adams wants to do this. So I uh, hope he hasn't been voted in yet. Um, I have some questions to go and take the vote first. Yeah, we'll take the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, now you can take the questions because we're, we, we're going to switch seats because you're now the chair. Okay. Um, I, wonder, I wonder why. Why? So the, the members of, of the, of the, of the uh, committee from the, the previous structure, uh, those weren't actual members like mandated by ordinance, right? Because we didn't change any the ordinance. We, we, just, we changed our change. The only thing we changed with the ordinance was the, the mayor chairing the committee. I don't think, <clears throat> I might have given a, a wrong impression that it wasn't just the ordinance that made the shift. It was the change of administration also started that shift. So when the Higgins administration, this committee that uh, the mayor was always here, almost always here for that committee, she kind of had a different, because it was under her jurisdiction as chair, it was kind of the mayor's committee in a way, and we served on it. She chose to use it in a, in a different way. She chose to have at her discretion the chair of planning come. She chose to have at her discretion usually the chair of um, and Wayne Fight and show up at that as well. So, so the chair of the of the uh, what's the difference? That's planning the planning department and the planning board. They would both be there, as would be the chair of Conscom. So that was more a, a kind of tone and texture of the meeting. It didn't have necessarily to do with with the legal structure that changed when when Mayor Narkowitz came in. He did he did, he changed. It was already changing the nature of that committee and the way he used it. The, the final thing that changed, and I was going to say the straw that broke the camel's back, but I, I don't think it's a bad thing, I think we're just finding our footing, was the actual change of the structure when the mayor was no longer serving as the chair of the committee because it was 
the mayor kind of brought all of the, it was the mayor bringing all of the, of the agenda items in with the planning department with, and coordinating those. So it changed and um, I, I hope that answers your question. It wasn't just the ordinance that made the change. Yeah, I, I was wondering because I was wondering, uh, I mean, I was, it seems like it would have been valuable to have the economic development coordinator here. Uh, sure, and I think that's and, just... And I guess we can request him. He's been, he, he, he often has been here. I think we can, what I guess I'm saying is we can decide who we would like to invite here and see if they can come, who we think is important to be here. Again, usually Kevin Lake from Conscom is here. They're usually, almost always, as a member of planning board here, as a member of this committee. So those people are here, and we can ask other people to be here. We, as America, we can always invite the mayor to be here. He's, whenever we have, he's willing to be here. So if we want him here every meeting, it's really at our discretion, and he's very happy to be here. Um, uh, you, you said that, that when the mayor was, was chairing, um, the mayor typically set the agenda. This was under the... Under well, Higgins. Yeah, I would. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary. She can help Since me that change, what came as agenda items? Were, were there, were there, or was it only what was referred from the full council, or, or were there other items? No? It would be, we would talk to the mayor. Mm -hmm. you would, Mary would do a really good job of keeping up on that, writing to me as the chair writing to the mayor also. If she had items at the mayor's office put forward, they'd be there. But she'd also ask me, and I would ask other counselors of agenda items. I would usually try and work fairly closely with the mayor on this, because usually those kind of items, you're talking about something that involves the administration. So I would usually run it by him, <coughs> especially if we wanted him to be here at the yeah. meeting. Yeah. I th again, I think the big thing we have now is one of the big agenda items moving forward is the Round Hill development. And that's something that Round Hill, I mean the house, it's Round Hill, that's in my head, yeah. The uh, Round House development. <clears throat> and um, the Ad Hoc Committee, which is under our jurisdiction. So. Mm -hmm. well, where, is, where is that in the process? There was, there was one hearing. There was one hearing. They've had a meeting. And that's something that I think would be helpful for us to have the mayor come back just my own personal feeling, to discuss this with us at our next meeting. I don't think there's a rush on that. I think we have to schedule a special meeting. But I think we should put it on the agenda. We should talk to him about he He asked our, if you go back to the minutes, quite a few months ago, Mary, maybe six months ago, eight months ago, he came and asked our support suggestions for developing the ad hoc committee. Maybe it was even a year ago. What did we think of that? We had a bunch of, with the members of the council, we discussed that. I think it was unanimous that we thought it was a good idea. Um, he appointed those members of that committee under the jurisdiction. That committee is an ad hoc committee under our jurisdiction. We had a presentation by... Util. Thank you. Util here, where the, the members, many members of the ad hoc committee and members of this committee were able to see that presentation and, and talk to the person from UTL. There was then a public meeting where pretty much the same presentation. We had some suggestions about how to present it a little differently. And there was a public meeting where he did a similar presentation. That was October 1st. October 1st. Mm -hmm. And then I don't believe there has been any action since then. And so that's something we should talk to the mayor about. Yeah, you should as the chair. And, and you know. technically still have the support vibrant sidewalks uh, resolution in that this committee. Here. Yes, that's been here. <coughs> it's technically sitting here. Okay. All right. Is there anything else, Mary, that's still in the... No. Um, what I wanted to ask was, uh, especially for Councilors O'Donnell and Sierra, um, now that this committee's three or four counselors have changed, are you guys okay not viewing the stormwater ordinance here? You'll definitely see ordinance. You'll see an ordinance. And I, I'm not sure if you'll see it on the committee. I'm not totally familiar with the committee. Or maybe, maybe you'll just have enough opportunity anyhow. There will be. But are you guys comfortable with that? Well, um, what, could you kind of, for our benefit, recap the discussion in in this committee, yeah. uh, why you made the decisions that recommended without. 
recommend. It's actually in the that? minutes that you've got right there. Yeah, yep. the November yeah, I mean, minutes. I could read the minutes. There are the minutes. Um, I, I don't recall. I, I remember presenting my amendments to this committee, mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I'll have to I'll have to look at it. I was here, but I don't I don't remember uh, the reason for the for uh, no recommendation. Sometimes no recommendations come more from tone than content. Um, and by that I mean, I think there was the feeling that we're going to have a lot of meetings moving forward on this. We did have a counselor who was um, someone who was able to go into the fine print in a way that many of us were not. Um, we felt we were starting to go deeply into the weeds of this thing, and we just wanted to move it forward. Uh, a part of that, I think, was my request, because there were going to be many other opportunities. We had a new, I think you spoke at that meeting, which was, you came and presented uh, a request yeah. about the CONSCOM land, which Kevin Lake, as the chair of CONSCOM, disagreed with, but we just felt like, you know, let's keep this moving. We wanted more comment. We wanted to have the Board of Public Works uh, weigh in on this. So for those reasons, what I, I remember, I'm starting to recall a little bit. Well, what, what the minutes say is that consensus was to send the ordinance forward without re recommendation, but to keep the dialogue open pending another forum or forums of the ordinance. So that that sounds like they, you know, they just want to keep the public input part open. But I, but I do remember um, one of the amendments that I submitted was uh, was was uh, expressly uh, ensuring through the definitions. Um, section in the ordinance that none of the funds from the, from the from the stormwater utility mm -hmm. could be used to supplement the general fund, mm -hmm. and I know that Councilor Freeman Daniels didn't agree with that, and I don't think Councilor Schwartz agreed with that, and I can't remember what if uh, Mr. Lake opined on it, but but that was one of the yeah. and I did support it. I, I think I think we just one of the reasons that some councils at that point didn't support that particular could, amendment. Mm -hmm. Well, do those amendments still exist in ordinance? I know you're going to be at the You're going to see them Monday. You're going to see them. They're actually we'll in the Monday. packet that I'll, I'll give you um, so Thursday words, night. So in other words, they're, they're still there to be considered. Yeah, and yes. you'll get to see them at the whole council meeting. I mean, in my 10 years, of, I guess it's 10 or whatever, 50 years as a counselor, I don't think I've ever seen more public discussion about a single issue. And I just want to say Six years ago, we started discussions mm -hmm. on stormwater. Mm -hmm. Not in this way, but we started discussions that were open, and they came in a variety of forms. We will have had, I think it's five or six public forums, and then ordinance happening, and then city council. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it started, well, it started six years ago, but uh, the specifics of creating utility yep, started that's in September of 2012. Yep. So, that's going to be a year and a half. A year and a half, and there are multiple meetings by the ad hoc committee, presentations, three DPW public meetings already on this thing. Five board meetings. Which might be unprecedented yeah. for so, one issue. I don't even remember if the landfill issue done. There's a week from today, though, next Monday, there's one. Yeah. In Florence, I think. Oh. Is that the last, the one that got yeah. canceled? Yeah. I think it, it occurred, it's just... Uh, because of the weather, there was interest in doing okay. it. And DPW is actually going to take up some of the amendments, Councilor Adams's amendment and your amendment, I believe. I'm going to talk to you about it later about your amendment outside because it's a different topic. But um, they're going to be taken up at another public meeting, which is the B BPW. Sorry, the BPW. Mm -hmm. B BPW. Uh, Count Councilor Freeman Danis had some. Questions about specific sections, which looking back, I don't recall particularly what his questions were, but 280-6C, 280-6H, 280-9B2, 280-10A. So I think those are all the reasons why it came forward with the no recommendation. So there'll be ample discussion on this going forward, and that's not really a concern, and other forums to have public comment. So it would seem to me it's okay to not take it up again. Okay. In this committee. Yeah. Do you agree? I agree. So that means it'll now leave this committee. It's yeah. already. It's yeah. left us. It will not leave. It's already left us. <laughs> you can bring it back. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, we should move to the meeting schedule, item number five. Um, um, sure. um, I, I see. Is it from you? Yeah. yeah. Um, as I said, I think that we need. We can certainly change the day, but this has often been a committee where we, where I think it's important for the public mm -hmm. to be able to come and weigh in. Um, and so therefore, as I said in the email, I think it's important that we do this like right. late afternoon. Um, and do you feel like evening. five is sort of the sweet spot for that, or is there a little bit of wiggle room? You mean a little earlier? A little, a little earlier? bit earlier, yeah. A little earlier? Just for my I think schedule, five is kind of the hardest amount of time, but yes. I mean, I can... I wonder, if, Mary, you're here for a lot of meetings, and many of them do start at 4, 4.30, right? Um, um, most committee meetings start at 5 at the earliest. 5 at the earliest, yeah. okay. Um, if you're talking about changing the day, that's going to be more difficult because there's usually something booked almost every single night. Mm -hmm. um, Would that also include the hearing room in the in City Hall as well? Um, I can't really tell you what's going on in the hearing room. I know that if... If I book council meetings here for city council subcommittees, then everybody else has to adjust. Okay. So if you if you want to change that, fine. But I'd have to probably um, see what else is going on on those particular days. Do you, um, uh, before we, I mean, I know something needs to be for BBW conference committee. That means it's four. Safe, public safety did until we thought five was better, but it for years four. It would four be better for you? And if it is, can to, to how are your schedules? Four would be better for me, but you know I have an awesome schedule with small children, so it's, that won't fit most people's schedules. So I understand if it doesn't work for others. I could do four. I could do four too. Well, um, yeah, if that's a consensus for. I can, Does that I can work try for you? Does it work for you? I, I can I can try and make it work. Well, I, I would four th would four thirty be a, a better compromise for you to? Uh, well, um, I don't know if the additional half hours have any use to you, 4.30, if that's much different than, than 5. Well, I guess my next question is, how is there any sort of general idea of how long these meetings for this committee tends to go? This committee tended to go to about, about an hour and a half, mm -hmm. isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Generally about an hour and a half. Part of that was determined because often I think Councillor Schwartz would say, I need to be out of here at 6.30, and then one of the other counselors would say that, and I often had a meeting, too, that started at 7, oh. so I needed to be out at 6.30. Okay. So we tended to be about an hour and a half. I'd say we used up, no matter what, we always used to go an hour, about an hour and a half. Okay. But you also had two very verbose counselors. We had two very verbose counselors. If you want, we can, uh, I, I can try to, I can put times of discussions if you only hold loosely too because you don't want to make it too strict but but if you want I think we can put times for discussions as some some committees do. Uh, but that's just a right. that's just to like keep it in a reasonable time uh, length of time for the meeting itself. But does does the committee want to keep it at five o'clock? Or does it want to move it? I want to do what works for you you two guys. If it's, if, if I, I I defer to whatever works for everyone else. That's about four o'clock. Four would be four would be fine for me. I'm concerned that uh, it doesn't work great for counselor Donald that he's being. Maybe if it starts to not work great and you really you come in here looking beaten and haggard, <laughs> we could change it back. I mean, we can always change it. I'm just I'm trying to make it look like I have stuff to do. You know. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm you know. So four. I think. Why don't we try four o'clock? That would be fine. But, and again, if, if it is difficult for anyone, please, I, let's open it up okay. to discussion. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is that okay, Mary? Yes. So I'll book them for four to six. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Does anybody have anything else to discuss about the schedule? Okay. Uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes of November 12, 2013? So moved. I'll second. Uh, is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? 
Looks like there's no public comment. And is there any new business or anything else that we want to discuss? Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Attentions? That's it. We're done. Thank you.